Today, I'm going to head over to the Salvation Army and do some thrift store shopping. It is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, and we have some friends coming in from BC, and they're not going to be here for a few hours. So I figured I'm going to go do some shopping. I would like to find some new sweaters because it is sweater weather. I'm going to check out their clothing, but of course, I'm going to check out hard goods first. Twenty four ninety nine. So yeah, I'm not even gonna pull the focus because I'm sure there's gold around. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna grab these glasses. Here. You go ahead. Two ninety nine for the set. How much? Two ninety nine for the set. Yeah, that's a good price. Pretty color. It is really busy in here today. I didn't think it would be that busy this weekend because it's Thanksgiving weekend, but that's a hobbyist piece. What is that? Uh, looks like a chicken whistle mug. It's kind of cool. That's another hobbyist piece, an Arnell's mold. Pretty color, $3. I don't know why I just like mid-century ash trees. They always have such nice colors and design. I think I'll grab that. Oh, there's a green snowman. I think it's plastic. It is plastic. A dollar ninety-nine. Hmm. It's, looks like it. It's coming apart there. That's a pretty color. A dollar ninety-nine. Kind of looks like Empoli. I don't think it is, but. It's a really pretty vase. It's blown glass. And it's only a dollar ninety-nine, so what the heck? They moved the clear glass. I'm just gonna do a quick scan because I usually don't find too much in the clear glass. This is really cute little cloche. I don't know what you'd use that for though. It's got a little chip on it. Here is a Woodland Cinderella bowl. There's no price on it though. It's in really nice condition. No scratching on it that I can see. They would price it for me. I don't know for sure. I'm gonna put it in my basket anyways, and or my cart. Salt, well, that's nice, $1.99. Salt pig, it is marked on the bottom. I feel like I looked at this, yeah, it is contemporary. This was here last time, a little stoneware piece. Some brass, $1.99, but looks a little bit wonky. Two piece, $30. Yeah, I don't think I can do $30. Those are pretty. Capiz shell? Made in the Philippines. They are more contemporary, but 
I mean, they could be vintage. There's a whole lot of them here. Get a set of, I don't know if that's two or four, maybe? I don't know, or maybe they're $2.99 each. I think we'll leave those. There's a little bit of damage and staining on them. I actually have a vase that matches this piece. It is Canadian made. I think it's possibly C-A-R, Canadian Pottery, Canadian Art. No, C-A-P, Canadian Art Pottery. And it is, oh, $24.99. <laughs> nope. I bought the piece that I already have from here a few years ago and it was a lot cheaper than that when I bought it. I think I have it in my booth. I don't know if it's sold or not. That's cute. $1.99 olives. Put your toothpicks, olives, and your pits. I like that for $2. We have the white section across from the yellow section. I'm so confused. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, I gotta move my cart here. markings or signatures on this piece. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a cheap, cheaper made basket. $19.99. It's missing something. I think. Or no, is this just a box? A jewelry box? It's pretty. Lacquer. I'm curious if there's. Oh. Oh wow. $147.12. Hmm. I don't know how old it is. It does look like it has a little bit of age. Possibly, you know, 20 years or older, but I don't know. It's really pretty. Oh, what is going on here? Somebody just dripped a bunch of paint in a piece of glass. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's a juice pitcher. It's got a, a nice design on it. It's pretty worn though. Yeah. The design is a little bit worn. I doubt that glows. This pink plastic photo, photo, <laughs> uh, frame. It's kind of fun. Made in Hong Kong. Likely 1960s. Is it $4.99 or 99 cents? I'm thinking it's 99 cents if it's plastic. I don't know. It's kind of fun. I like, I like this kind of tacky plastic stuff. I don't know why, but I don't think it's $4.99. I think it's a dollar or 99 cents. I'm gonna pick it up. Look at this huge piece. It is Hertulaco. Hertulaco. Souvenir piece. It's massive. Massive. And very colorful. Some frost, frosted pink glass. Definitely needs to be clean, but 
I really like frosted pink glass. It's so 1980s. What is that? Mouth blown. Made in Taiwan. It's 1980s. It's actually kind of pretty. Call me crazy, but I'm gonna pick these up. And I think once I clean them up, they'll be really pretty. Kind of got that art deco revival look to them. And they're only a dollar ninety-nine each, so. There's so much Christmas, I don't know where to start here. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna start on this aisle here. Take a quick look through the Christmas. I'm not gonna spend too much time. See if anything jumps out at me. Some cute little salt and pepper shakers for $1.99. Not super old, but they're cute. It's very people-y in here. <laughs> $24.99 for the whole set. I think they are ceramic. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, kind of look like Jim Shore. It's not, it is metal. That's a candle. It's kind of pretty. Santa wreath. Yeah, nothing looks too terribly old. Not the Christmas I'm looking for. Most of these Christmas balls are contemporary. That one is vintage. There's the odd vintage one in there, but as you can tell, the contemporary ones have tops like these. This is an, definitely an older one. You can tell by that metal hanging piece that, that that is a vintage one but that's the only vintage one in that bag this i don't know if that's original oh maybe those ones might be older i don't know i don't they don't look that old though that one's vintage that is not that old, I don't think. This one is vintage. It says, oh, that's a, a Roche, Roche? That's a good one. Roche, but only one, or is this one? That's a ruche. I could be saying that wrong. Two ruche. This one's vintage. It's pretty worn. That's a ruche. It's three. Ah, oh, this bag might be worth picking up. How much is it? $4.99. Might be worth picking that one up. I'm gonna have a closer look at them. See if there's any art here. There's not a whole lot. Jimi Hendrix. I think those are prints. My attitude is fine. It's the world that sucks. Litho in USA. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, 
Uh, not much for art. Let's see if there's any lamps. There's a few lamps over there. Made February 23rd, 62, at Corn Wallier Junior High. Huh? That was made in a woodworking class. Nicely done. How much do they want for it? Six ninety nine. I just found this rug. I need a new rug for my laundry room. I washed the one that was in there and destroyed it. Completely destroyed the back of it. This one I think you can actually put in the washing machine. I guess the one that I washed you couldn't. Uh, but I think this one you can. Ah, it's in nice condition. It's very clean. And I can throw it in the wash, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. <laughs> How much is it? $4.99. These are really expensive to buy new, so grab that. Not too exciting, but that's okay. <laughs> Something I need. There's any beautiful table linens. Preferably hand crocheted. 40 years or older. There's a quilt. It's $20. It's got the sun on it though, and stars. It's really nice and soft. It's not polyester. I think it is handmade. I'm gonna open it up and have a closer look at it and see. Well, it looks really good. It's not that big. It'd be, I guess, for the end of a bed or couch or twin bed. It's got a really nice design on it. I like the pattern. It's very 90s, 80s, late 80s, 90s. I would say 1990s. That's my guess. Maybe even early 2000s, just with this celestial pattern. And there's a little bit of tie dye here. $20. Hmm. Uh, is this a tag? Oh no. Like I'm pretty sure it is handmade. It just doesn't look. Yeah, you can see here there's a little bit of. It's not perfect, so it's definitely handmade. I don't know. I think I can triple my money with this at least. <laughs> Let's see if I can. <laughs> I'm picking it up for 20 bucks. Maybe that's crazy, but we shall see. What a cute set. Otagiri, $24.99 for three pieces. That's beautiful. Very pretty. Really fun. <laughs> There's some good stuff in this case. All pretty close to retail, though. Hall mushrooms. Those are really pretty. Salary dish with little salts. A frog playing a banjo. I think that's a banjo. Maybe not. No, that's not a banjo. Mandolin, really cute cookie jars. I have that squirrel one. A 
really pretty mukluks. Those are 149. <coughs> An old army helmet. I have that glass piece. I put my pens in it. All right, we are in the sweater section. <laughs> it's actually really hot today. Oh, I'm cooking in the sweater I'm wearing. I'm not one for sparkles, but I don't know what it is about this sweater I like. It's very soft. I'm not a huge fan of the sparkles, but it's kind of fun. Not having the best luck. Not really finding anything that sparks my interest. Although this one is it's just gray cardigan. <laughs> looks a little bit big, but looks really warm. It'd be nice to just throw over a t-shirt. I might try it on. Maybe I'll like the fact that it's bigger, oversized, might work. That's vintage. It's cute, looks a little big. It's not the best, it is acrylic. 75% acrylic, it's soft, it is soft. I like these kind of flowy arms. Oh, let's try it on. You never know. It's only $3.99. Okay, the acrylic vintage sweater with the billowy sleeves. Is that what they're called? I cannot remember. It's cute. The oversized cardigan. I really like this. This is really comfortable. I like that it's long, nice long sleeves, can be rolled up, soft. This is a definite yes. I'm wearing my new sweater. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get it on. It is so soft and comfortable. The one I was wearing was so itchy and hot. And this one smells really clean, so I'm not too worried about it. I will take it home and wash it, but I, I had to change sweaters. It was just, the other one was just driving me crazy. And I also bought this really cute little micro beaded spider brooch. And you can adjust the little legs. It's sparkly, it's so cute. It was $1.99, <laughs> so I put it on my sweater. So my total was $58. I left behind the Pyrex, they wanted $7.99, little more than I want to spend on that piece. And I also left behind the olive dish, not a high dollar item and probably a really long tail item, something I don't really need, so I left it behind. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.